Choristers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, permit me for a short song. From Choristers, you have to sing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me. There's nothing I can do that can equal your love for me. I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For all you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. For there's nothing I can do that can equal your love for me. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Chinenye Ono Anozie. I live at number one, Chief Kenneth Okoro Street, Banana Layout, Isheri, Lagos. I have a very short testimony. On Wednesday, so, sorry, Friday morning, I was billed to go to Magbo, uh, the satellite campus of the uh, Morgrace Bible Institute to lecture. And because there are two lecturers that were supposed to be there, so I was to lecture first, so I had to leave here, leave the church here five o'clock after the choir vigil. So by 5.30, we were somewhere just past Abulojo. Then there was this long um, traffic with tanker drivers just parked everywhere. The driver, I was sitting in front of the driver with some person between me and the driver. So the driver told the conductor to go and tell the other cars behind to move back so that they can turn and find another route to go. So as the conductor was doing that, suddenly what we heard was ba, 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 ba. a group of young men were breaking glasses of all the vehicles. Hmm. And we are robbing them. So the man sitting by beside me and the driver, when they started breaking the bus, the glasses of the bus, and robbing the people there, I was hearing, I'm a chosen, I'm a chosen. I was trying to look the person, look at the who was shouting, I'm a chosen at the back of the vehicle. Then the man sitting by my side with the driver said, oh, girl, Come out now, don't you see armed robbers are around? I said, Cool down. I said, If you don't go down now, I'll push you down. I opened the door and came out. Every person they were robbing, even the soldier in the vehicle ran. I came out as I was moving by the side to see what was happening. Here come this hefty man. And um, last two months I lost my phone in my pocket. Thereafter I decided any vehicle I enter, I'll be holding my phone in my hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as he accosted me, he said, give me, that, give me that phone, give me that phone. I put the phone inside my pocket and told him, I am a chosen, I am a chosen. You thief, who are you? Uh -huh. He then brought out a gun from under his cloth, one shot uh, ref, right, uh, revolver. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, if you don't give me that for now, I'll waste you. I say, I am a chosen, I am a chosen. You thief, where, who are you? Where is the God of my pastor power? Uh -huh. He was shifting the slide, trying to make the slide to move. He said he was, he first was intent to waste himself and not me. But the slide refused to move. Power! Power! Chosen, praise the Lord. Power. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, your chosen. The covenant is alive, very, very strong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As this sin was going on, I was becoming more emboldened. And at that point, I wanted to make a move. But looking around, there were three other men with machets. My military instinct told me, don't make that move. 
I stood there, then I declared again, I am a chosen. Where is the God of my pastor power? Show yourself. It seemed like something spiraled him. Immediately he spiraled and turned and did his head to, like this to those other men and they all moved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Father. There was I standing like a lone tree in a desert. Now the other people, all the people, no person came back. Only the driver, the conductor, and two other people, they robbed from that vehicle. They said, oh God, and the soldier came out. Then the soldier came back, came to my side. I said, oh God, you there here. God bless you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They started inquiring from me, what did they take from me? I said, they can't take anything from me because I am a chosen. That's right. Clap God. unto God, clap unto God. Clap unto this great God, the God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So I am here to magnify the name of this great God. He has been so awesome, mm. so marvelous. Thank you, Lord. He is beyond compare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to tell us, you have an umbrella covering you. You have a super protection which you should not take for granted. And always, as our pastor advises us, never take any of his advices for granted. I want to pray for him. May this God that has been guiding, protecting, and leading him keep moderating him in the name of Jesus. Amen. May he rejuvenate every part in his system and recreate him anew in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for our mommy and the children. Father, protect, guide, lead them in all their endeavors and pilot all their faith in Jesus' name. Amen. And for the chosen ones worldwide, I pray and I sincerely pray that all of us shall meet in heaven and receive the crown of righteousness, of holiness, and in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my prayers with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Clap unto God of the chosen. Clap unto God. Are you a chosen? You are heavily protected. Always remember to declare who you are. That's what he did. But please remember to complete it. Pastor says, I am a chosen three times. That's what you should say. Three times. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. And then you ask the danger. I'm robber. Who are you? He said, you are going to see something that will make you fear. And if the threat continues, shout and ask, the God of my pastor, where are you? Pastor said, you are going to see something that is more than man. That's what happened to that armed robber when our brother declared. He wanted to shoot. The trigger refused to move. It's like that everywhere all over the world. Obey that instruction and you come back to testify in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing prayer.